Ultimate and Naz. Uh, I, I haven't seen Pokemon Trainer in such a long time. It's a, it's a weird sight to see for a little bit. Because I was... So yeah, Naz on the Pokemon Trainer and, uh, and, Joker, and the Ultimate on his classic Joker. Oh my god, and Naz is just looking really nice right now. His conversions are really clean right now. Getting all the damage that he can right now. Gets 50 on on Joker. Yeah, there, it's good. Huh? Oh yeah, Minimator. And that switches to, uh, to Livysaur. Depending on how comfortable. Well, Ivysaur, in my opinion, is probably like, probably the the skill check of a Pokemon trainer, because if you don't know how to deal with Ivysaur, you are getting hit by everything. Mm -hmm. Just seeking a skill check. Yeah, no, they're just playing neutral. Speaking, there's no skill check here. It's just neutral. Down gun. Try to try to rebels guard the side B by gonna get the the, the down B in time. It gets the up smash. That's what, and it doesn't kill just yet. And that's the up smash that he needed. There he goes. Naz takes the first stock, and, and he's looking really clean with it. But who knows how the rest of the side will go. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I mean. Who knows how this set is going to go? Maybe you can literally, you can literally be winning the entire time, and then you can just as the like that. But I mean, it probably isn't that bad because he was already like at kill percent. It's a waste of a stock, but not really that much of a waste, considering you, considering the percent he had at the time. It was uh, okay. So it was a strategic SD because now he gets all his uh, his. Uh, <laughs> He gets all his, uh... Man, I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm just drawing blanks. <laughs> That's just how it is. Oh, you want to say something? I'm just draw blanks. Just brain turn off. Monkey brain activated. Gets... I... Well, okay. I've never seen that move before. Gets the forward smash, and I'm... That, that, I'm surprised I hit. I'm still surprised I hit. I know that's such a, like, that's such an old thing. The fact that Forward Smash just starts from such, from way back that you can literally just catch rolls off of it, but it just surprises me every single time. <laughs> Ultimate got surprised by that. I jeez. He just went out for it. And Ultimate was not ready for that at all. He just he drifted in. Didn't think anything of it. He thought he was just gonna up beat. Douche. Just gets down air and back into the back from where he came. Oh, I so I'm going back to the same characters. Nabs one oh. Ultimate zero. We're going to Smashville. I'm pretty sure this stage benefits way more. Okay, I feel like this is probably one of the few stages where I feel like it, it doesn't really benefit any anyone. Because at the same time, the, these aren't the characters that are going to abuse the middle platform. Because what the middle platform is so good at is if you stay under it, and you can just camp under that. And because there's a platform above you, it just doesn't... You can easily react to if a opponent is going to jump on top of you. Jeez. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's um, a stock for a stock. You get a downer, you get you lose your, your stock. That's just how it is sometimes. Oh, loses his jump. He has our set on the board, but really has to be careful with how he's using his jumps. Up air, up air. Doesn't get the, the upbeat that he wanted. 
down it. Whoa, okay, he gets the back air. And we're just playing neutral again. And uh, yeah, no, this definitely doesn't look like neutral anymore. I take back what I say. Ultimate tried to get the Tomahawk drag, but it wasn't really working like that. There, up there. Ultimate with his combos. Didn't drop back. He wanted to get a full hop up there, but he got a short hop on instead because of the macro. Forward, and that's the stock. Going back to an even game right now, one apiece. That was a really aggressive up. He didn't have to go for that. He could have just went to the ledge, but he just decided to just tack on a little bit more damage. He's already down. What's a little more damage? Try to go for the down gun to take care of Ivysaur's tether, but no, he didn't tether. Didn't hit. Boner. This is a really interesting match to see. Just the difference of how Naz is playing now and how he played that last game. He was playing very, very confidently. Now, because he's like at 100%, he's really playing a bit more passively. And now he switches to Charizard, which is probably going to stay for... Yeah, no, he's definitely going to stay... Not going to stay Charizard anymore. That's... that's, <laughs> And that's the game. <laughs> one, one apiece. Oh, wrong one. I actually didn't see what stage we were going to. Okay, we're going on Lilac. I guess I can't understand why, why Nabs would like to go on the stage. There's a lot of platforms, which leads to a lot of combos. And the fact that the, the slaying also just makes, makes it so that if you're trying to attack, if you're trying to attack a uh, Pokemon trainer from the ledge, it's going to be a little harder to hit. Up throw gets uh, gets our at the perfect time. Right as the combo started, he's just like, okay, our sense here. Aggressive side bees. Not punishing them though. He almost tried to punish, but he didn't. Yeah, no, so we're, we're just flubbing approaches at this point. Nabs is just doing side B, getting no nothing off of it. And uh Ultimate is just trying to punish the punish the side B, but it's also getting not even getting the grab at all. Speaking of not getting stuff, Ultimate's not even getting the stock. Just, just, yeah, just, just taken away. Up here. Nav's is just very aggressive. I have never seen a Pokemon trainer like this. He's just playing like, if you're anywhere close to him, he's just going to push a button. That's just how Nav's is. That's how it looks like. Gets the nair. Call that. Gets the forwarder and still he gets nothing off of these uh, off these attacks. Because the forward throw, Arsene is almost gone. Down tilt, sends him up. You don't want to be above Joker, especially when he's Arsene. But now that Arsene is gone, I guess you don't want to be off stage in general. Gets the forwarder, but nothing off of it. It just, it just flubs. Flub city here. Gets the grab, sends him off stage. I really like the, that a hop, but uh, is it really a good idea? Is it a really good idea? Because you're giving Charizard more rage, and Charizard is already good for killing. You're just giving him more, more opportunity just to kill you with. Gets the back throw, and that was the first stop. Jeez. 
I didn't realize that was, that was even the first stock. I was thinking, oh yeah, Ultimate just has to take the stock and he's in the lead. And uh, nope, he just gets the stock taken away. Yeah, no, this, this stage is really working for Nabs. Ultimate is probably not very comfortable with it, probably because he doesn't have very too much experience off of it. That was a really weird uh, water gun, but okay. Okay, then. Uh, that, that down smash takes it. So now, what stock of peas? Alright, from this point forth, I'm just going to call initial air the... the, the, the the ultimate move. <laughs> Just decides to go for side and not the, here, the ultimate new trip. <laughs> the ultimate move. He's the only one that. He's the only one that would use counter in that situation. But he, I guess Naz was just using it over point. Just and here to just caught on. Ninety here just ultimate caught on. And ultimate just shaking his hand because of how much skill that took. Realized that <laughs> that Naz was gonna push a button and he just had to push another. And oh, he looked at him. He's shaking his hand. He's like, ah, that level of skill hurts me. <laughs> he just hurts. <laughs> okay, so we're going back to to game four. Man, I'm having too fun. I'm, I'm having too much fun with this. I but. Speaking of having too much fun, jeez, he already has four. Okay, I was thinking there's no way you're gonna get gimped, but no, he didn't get gimped. He's getting comboed, which I guess is just as bad. Forward air, puts him at the ledge, and I feel like Ultimate is just not doing that good on whenever his opponents are at the ledge. Yeah, of course, he got that one lucky counter, but this is because his Naz was doing the upbeat all o all the the game gets the counter again. Just playing neutral is <laughs> I remember someone comparing ultimate ultimate neutral or just two Rams butting heads. And Every time I see these two play, yeah, no, I definitely see it. They're, they're literally just two Rams butting heads. They're going to run? Okay, so... No, at this point, it's literally just a game of chicken. It's not Rams butting heads, it's just chicken. Are you going to shield, or are you going to grab, or are you going to attack? Or just going to dash back? Which is, and, and if you dash back, you're the chicken. To the side beat up, you... He almost got hit by the forward smash. Thankfully, he jumped out of the way. But I feel like even if he was a little bit, a little bit late, he would have gotten hit by that, um, by that forward smash for free. <laughs> he was going to grab Ivysaur, but it turns out that he didn't grab Ivysaur. He got grab Char He grabbed Charizard. Gets the upper. Ultimate is really aggressive with these out of shield options when he should be using his time a bit more. But I guess that's the only time where being aggressive just gets you out of sticky situation. Takes the stock, and now he's at a comfortable 132%. Now Ultimate has to now Ultimate has to find a way to to kill Charizard in any way he can. Gets the back throw, the forward throw. This is this is the percent that Charizard wants to be at. He wants to be at the percent where you, you all you have to do is just fish for a kill move. Yo, well, you can't combo anything. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to fish for something. Well, I'm just here trying to figure out a ways to kill you at 50. Charizard at 180 percent definitely is gonna be packing the punch if he decides to go for something super risky. Ultimate is on game point, and I really don't want him to. Does go under the lead that he has. 
gets the side B, but it didn't kill at all. And he still had the percent where anything that... Oh! Oh, okay, there it is. That's the stock. I, I, I was getting scared for ultimate there. I was like, there's no way you're getting hit by, a, by another side B. He literally pressed back here like three times and not even one of them was anywhere near him. Naps with the down throw, puts him off stage, gets the downer, and that's not it. That's not it. Back, we're back on Charizard, on Charizard game. Up beat. <laughs> and just switches to Ivysaur. Just switching through all the Pokemon. This is literally just a game of Pokemon. Oh, your Pokemon's a low health, just switch to another one. Oh, it looks like you got a crit. Well, just switch to the next Pokemon. Gets the downer, but... Kirichu didn't want to go put himself in the texture food until he just jumped out of the way. But yeah, no, as I'm saying, Nav's is just playing very, very aggressively. And it's just putting him so in worse situations because it, he uses his aggressive just to get out of disadvantage. But in, in fact, he just puts himself in a, a worse situation. Gets the up throw, didn't kill just yet, but he has our send, so he can possibly get a stock off of off two framing with, with the frame bro. But he didn't need any frame bro because he got a claws, big meaty claws. Back throw, oh my god, he was about to end the stock. That backer does not kill just yet, but ultimate has to be careful on how he chooses to to finish the stock. Because as we've been seeing this the entire game, Naz is going to be aggressive. That was a jump, and that's the, that's just how it ends. Oh, the wrong one. Ultimate three one. <laughs> 